except then I'm going to be extremely brutal uh, with their with their uh, their position. We're going to work on that a bit, and then we're going to work on and focus on perks. So the reason why I don't show perks right now is because they're not really relevant. Because right now uh, they're still doing tryouts, so I want people to fit, pick what they are comfortable with as opposed to anything else. I think it's damage, quick switch, capacity is what I think is supposed to be dark. But I I, I haven't played Parnell in a little while, and I had to quickly rush through. <laughs> I haven't heard this conversation before. Actually, it is a lot of money. I shouldn't complain. Yeah, Hank, stop complaining. I just heard the one between Abe and Markov, where Abe wants to shock uh, Hank and Kyra. Yeah. That's the first time I've heard that one. But he basically asks, hey, how come none of us on the team get shocked? And Markov's like, well, there's a, a chip that it reads on everybody's uniform, so the gun is smart and knows not to attack your teammates. I he's remember like, Why back you in ask? Legacy when you could deny the big meats by just... He's right there. Man. He's right by the That's whale. Should I try to cut them off the other way? Yeah, Medic and uh, Assault are going to cut them off at the cave. You guys stay near Middle Beach, make sure it doesn't go back. He's right by this pillar. Stay off the low ground. Get near the edge, sledge. You ready? Dome about to come down. Make sure you're near your exits. Griffin, get ready. Again, he's probably going up to revolve in there. Let's just, as one of the people said last time, let's just go get the jump height cooldown yep. and let him evolve. Last time I took uh, the cave route to get to the jump height, and that was no good. Sound is off? Okay. I'll see if I can fix that then. Are we gonna head on in or are we gonna wait for him? No, to wait for him to come out. Uh, I got this entrance. Make sure we got two people covering. Oh, he's coming this way. He's going through the middle. He's hitting. Come back here. Make sure it come to us. God Dome? Oh, poor JT. Can you not fit down that hole? No. Make sure you utilize it. Rock, get ready to watch out.
Let me chase. Don't about to come down, get in position. He's going back in the caves. But isn't the poison buff in the caves? No, he went the other way. He went over here. He went back to the very back of the cave. I'm going to head towards where the jump height uh, perk is. Uh, get a couple people in the middle. Wait for the scanner. Don't go into the caves. We're going to have to. He just evolved. and He's going to just sit in there and eat meat until we get in there. Well, I mean, we can't dump for 30 seconds anyway. Good point. The big thing is containment, and then go in. Yep, he's about to run by. Nice harpoon. No, he's uh, on the far end. Make sure he doesn't go underneath the helipad. No, nope, he's uh, he's in the back jungle. He's by relay. Damn it. I saw it. So one thing is that we need to have better cutoffs. Uh, if so, whoever's oh, yeah. closest to the monster should just follow the monster, and the other two people should swing around and cut. Uh, five seconds, and the uh, cooldown reduction perk's going to come up. Let's get it, since he's near the middle of the map anyway. I'd rather get the damage. Eh. He's at the damage perk right now. I'm getting uh, damage resistance here. Oh, you guys are far. Make sure you call out when you're that far behind because we were about to engage and you were 150 from us. I wasn't aware you were that far away. The plus side is, is all three perks, uh, the good ones that spawn at 8 minutes are dead. Uh, so it means the first engagement might be a little rough, but after that we don't have to worry too much. Okay, so, yeah, Terry, you stay over there, I'll stay up here. We know that he's back in this direction, so you and I should be the first ones there. There he is. Having him smack me is always good, too. This guy's super self-sustained. Yeah, but if you have to heal yourself, you can't heal other people very well. I'm about to go down, get ready uh, to...
keep punishing. Uh, my main hunter. No, I don't really play right. hunters. I'm mostly main um, monster. But if I had to pick one, probably trapper or mm, probably trapper or support. I used to play support in ESL. Yeah, probably support more than trapper. But yeah. Uh, Terry, scoot, uh, change places with mechanical. Uh, he's back in this direction, so we want the uh, monster to jump over you. Then you harpoon him while he's trying to get some mechanical. Uh, actually, yeah, get ready to scoot up. Sledge, immediately come towards us. You're landing right on him. Okay, good, he's oh, going great. the other way. No, you're good. You're good. Hey, Scarface, how's it going? I want to change my position to go where Terry is. So Terry and I should be on the front line. Sledge and Mechanical should be on the back. So that way he, in theory, has to get take a little bit of damage from me, and then Terry will harpoon him. Yeah, exactly like that. See, already bring down his armor a lot while just getting to the person he wants to. But yeah, so so positioning is really important. You always want, especially if you have, so if you have a hard CCer, you want him between the monster and the support and medic. Uh, let me go ahead and bring JT back in. But yeah, so so uh, especially in situations like that, uh, you always want to have the trapper and the assault in between the monster and the support and the medic, because the monster is almost always going to go after the support and medic, especially in that lineup. Supports the biggest target, uh, so you want to make sure that he's uh, has to p suffer. So like, notice how much damage he took before he even got to you, because I was able to do damage and Terry was able to harpoon uh, before even starting to work on the support. Very important. Yeah, those harpoons were definitely effective. Yes. <laughs> Good old E Griffin. <laughs> okay, give me one yeah, second. I screwed up the start there, but I did manage to manage to juke you around long enough to actually get the damage buff and get to stage three. Radio Larity, welcome to the herd. I appreciate that follow. Give me one second. Someone was saying that there was something Nick, with the sound. Let me go ahead and try. What are you doing? Uh, let me know how the set so if Ledger, the sound are you off. intending to talk in game versus in uh, in Discord? Let me know if the sound's still wonky. Yes. I'm talking through the game. And okay. if it and if it is, I can only there, because I think I know what it might the, uh, be. if I do it through Discord, it's open mic all the time. Open mic night. Like okay. I downloaded the thing it said so I could do push to talk, but it's just not. I, I don't know. Right, it's I'm just back. not working. Yeah, you have to go hit the little settings cog, go to uh, voice, and choose push to talk instead of voice activated. Yeah, but it said. Uh, I had to download the app, and I downloaded the app, but I don't know. Setup that could be done another time. So how'd they go? I it was, it was pretty good. We 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 uh, the hunters won that time. Um, the uh, so um, all right. Let me go. Let me talk to Sledge and Castles again real quick. Uh, 
Okay, sorry about that. Okay, uh, so to clarify, uh, JT confirmed on the team, yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, also, Terry is definitely in our team, so he's uh, like part of the members. Okay, so so definitely those four. The mechanical is uh, probably at, at this point? Yeah, probably, yes. Uh, Nico has a mic. Uh, he's been very cooperative, and he's, he's willing to get better at the game. Okay, cool. Um, that being the case, then, um, I'm just going to pretend like this is your five-man team. So the first thing I want to do is the monster is going to consistently be uh, picking. I want him to pick the same monster and the same perks no matter what. Uh, same thing with the hunters. I want you guys to figure out what perk. I mean, oh, well, I guess perks aren't really as important. Um, but basically, I want you guys to rotate through to find out what team like who's like even though i might be best on trapper if i play medic and someone else plays trapper between like i'm a better medic than he is a better trapper if that makes sense so even though i might be the best medic in the world sometimes you might want to you know rotate people around uh so i want to play a few games of that against jt one so he can work on his feeding route for this map and then two so that uh, we can go ahead and figure out what person plays in what role uh and then once we kind of get an idea after that about three or four games uh then i'm going to start going into uh, uh brutal brutal coach mode <clears throat> so you want to rotate a bit and see what role might be better for which person correct so so, so so go ahead and pick what everyone feels comfortable with as their best role and we'll use that as the control group uh and then swap like this person and this person and i can help you make recommendations saying i feel that the support might be a little bit weak let's have them try this one or something like that uh but you kind of want to rotate people through uh just because uh, uh you never know what what a good team composition is because like for instance when i was on pushing daisies i was bounced around between every single role and i ended up playing one of my weaker classes just because it was fundamentally better because the other person sucked at everything else besides that <laughs> if that made sense yeah, yeah it definitely made sense also matt i get extremely echo like i hear you twice every single time i don't know if uh, if that's normal or mute, mute me inside the game restart the game no no mute me in the game so go to player options and then mute mad cow okay cool because i my push to talk is the same In the time it's down, try to get someone else down. I would try to force people out of line of sight of Paladin Parnell. Yeah, that's what, what I, I have trouble with is people, like, when they were above on that cliff, if they weren't near the edge, I couldn't heal them. Yeah, I was aiming for that. Okay, I think, uh, Matko, can you talk just to see if it's better now? Yep, testing one, two, three, cantaloupes, potatoes. Yeah, okay, I hear you perfectly, and I hear you say potatoes. Sweet. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do now is, uh, JT, I want you to pick the same monster. Um, obviously, you're the same monster. Uh, same perk selection. Uh, basically, what we're doing is, is at this point, we're going to uh, pretend like, oh, by the way, uh, castles, you need it. Oh, there you are. Um, uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the hunters around. So we're going to use the control group of everyone playing what they feel they're best with. Uh, that's going to be the control group. And then we're going to make slight alterations. And then JT, I will also need your experience from a monster player to say that this team felt more difficult. This one was more tanky, this kind of that. Um, we're not really going to change the team composition of the actual hunter roles, just who is playing what, if that makes sense. Uh, cause then once you identify, cause even though I might be the best assault in the world, um, the team might be overall better if I play medic and someone else plays assault because that person plays a better assault than medic and that makes the team stronger overall. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and play probably a few matches, uh, probably about four or five, uh, and then once everyone's kind of you know into the roles that the, the, the team overall for, performs best, uh, then we're going to start talking about uh, team compositions, perks, uh, and then start going into uh, hardcore couch, uh, coach mode. Sounds good. Okay. Although I'm so still refining my route on this one. Uh, that's okay, and that's why uh, it's not super important right now, um, because you're still going to be making more or less the same route anyway, uh, and that's not really going to change what, what, what happens with the team overall, if that makes sense. Um, so, uh, okay. what comp are we taking right now, just for, for anybody? Like, what team comp and what monster will remain the same? Uh, so, he's going to probably be playing Goliath. Uh, okay, let, um, uh, that's up to the four of you to decide. Um, uh, that, that's kind of hard to decide like even though you know what don't worry if you have to swap out hunters like because i know some people don't like like i hate playing hide but hide is a very consistent character um i'm I, I like parnell but not everyone's very good with parnell so go ahead and just play what you want to um i'm pretty it's not it, the team composition shouldn't matter as much as individual skill because that's what i'm mostly focusing on right now okay cool. sorry overall but... team skill i should say 
Okay, let's just trapper focus and on. support selection can matter a lot. Exactly, yeah. That's why I'm not too worried too much. Um, but just go ahead and pick Hank. Hank is pretty much universal. Um, for the medic... Val. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Val right now is the problem. Um, medic is okay because most medics don't really change. Um, if, if ever like ever if everyone agrees uh, on playing the same medic, um, I, I I'd argue uh, Paladin Parnell Slim. Paladin Parnell Slim. Who's the others? I don't think I, you pick one of those two because those two both are kind of tanky and they kind of have the same kind of system about how you need to focus on people, uh, especially with Hank in the group. Assault's kind of interchangeable. Uh, the only big differences would be if somebody plays Torvald and can land mortars and somebody plays Torvald and they can't. Uh, so assaults for the most part are relatively okay uh, and then trappers are kind of interchangeable as well. Um, so it shouldn't be as much of a problem right now. All right, let's 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 get to it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and shove JT down. I'm just going to uh, have him uh, so he can't hear anyone. I'm not going to move him. I'll just deafen myself. Too late. I already did. I gave him the earmuffs. Oh, then he muted himself. 